What's up everybody, Black River Fox here, and this is the first 45. And today we're playing Spiritfarer, which is a game from Thunder Lotus Games. I've been hearing a lot about this game. I don't know much about it, except that uh, you manage the dead and you send them on their way. You become like the ferryman or something like that. I've gotten myself into the mood for playing this game. I've got uh, a nice cup of coffee. Here's some ASMR for you. And it's raining outside, so perfect, perfect, perfect mood for playing this kind of game. So, let's just jump right into it. I did press A. Oh, there we go. Okay, new game. That is the cutest loading icon I have ever seen. That's so cute. Oh, wow. Oh, I am liking the way this game looks. Ah, okay. So this is a text-based game. So prepare to read a lot. I'm not going to read every single line because I can't do voices. And this guy has a fantastically deep voice. It's quite soothing. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Probably something like Sharon. Sharon. I don't know. Oh man, I really like his voice. And I like that he doesn't say every single word and he just says like one key word out of the bunch. Okay, so that is a spirit fairer ball. Ah, oh, he's leaving. And he's telling me to take over his job. That's, um, that's slave labor. Oh, wow. No, like, notice or anything. Oh, who am I? Stella. Stella! <laughs> What's that? There's the room. Stella! Okay, I'm Stella. Thanks. Yeah, it's my little kitty cat. Daffodil. Daffodil. I can't even I can't even do that voice. Hi Daffodil. So Daffodil and Stella. You two will share the burden then. I don't want to do this work. Why why are you making me do this work? Do I look equipped to be a ferryman of death? He is very convincing. Okay, so he's dying soon. And I'm taking over. As the spirit pharaoh. Listen. I love that. Listen! Okay, so that's my job description. Pick up dead, dead folks and uh, drive them around. Oh, cool. So, apart from being a driver, I'm also going to be the butler. Helping them out with their last dying wishes, their final requests. The Everdor. Ah. Man, I got chills. This music is so good. The way it looks is so good. It's like these fine illustrations, watercolors. It's beautiful. Okay, the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, so this is where I'll be sending them all on their merry, ferried way. Stella. Stella. Ooh, gifts. Good. Job incentive. Ooh. 
was that the Everlight? I'll be careful. It's the Everlight. How did I guess that? How did I know? Okay, I'm gonna wear it on my neck. It's a status symbol. Ooh. What is Daffodil like killing him? <laughs> Very inappropriate. Oh my goodness. I love the animation. It's like um, very low frames make it that uh, kind of jagged, gives it that jagged look. Well, that settles it then. <laughs> Everlight will help me through my travels. It'll be, I will be the beacon of light that shines through the darkness. Okay, instead of a nice chain, I, I fancied myself a nice belt buckle. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. Yeah, I accept the challenge. The fate of the lost souls rests on my shoulders. My very well-dressed shoulders, I must add. Have you seen that belt buckle? Okay. One step at a time. That's what I'm planning on doing. Spirit fear. Yeah. Just one thing. Another thing? Ooh, yes, because this this little piece of piece of wood isn't gonna do it for me. I need something something more stylish. Okay. Okay, so why did he use this boat? Probably. That confidence right there. Here he goes. <laughs> Bye. The music reminds me of Ori and the Blind Forest which is also a fantastic game that I will highly recommend if you have a, a PC or an Xbox. Here we go. Oh, oh, I've got control. This feels so good. Oh, there goes the ship. Oop. Okay, cannonball. And the controls feel perfect. It is so responsive, so snappy, and it looks amazing. This whole game has got like a, the, the color palette, the kind of flat illustrations and things really reminds me of a Wes Anderson film, uh, which is very appealing to me, I must say, because I am a massive fan. Even though whose latest films hasn't been the greatest, in my opinion. Okay, A to jump. A to, hold A to jump higher. Even higher. Hold up. Okay. Up. Cool. Up and down. What's this? Okay, drop down. Hey, dude. Okay, press X to interact with outlines. Stella! It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Who's this? This, this person knows me. <laughs> Damn straight I look good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Who are you? Oh, Gwen! Ah, Gwen! Gwen from the pub down the road! Ah, sure. I know you. Mm. Ooh, did I die? Oh. Mm. Everybody seems to know me and I don't. 
Oops. Now that doesn't sound too bad. It sounds like a healthy diet. Sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we were friends. Yep, I've got the Everlight. Mm -hmm. What boat? Oh, that boat. Oh, th that will do very nicely. That's the one. Oh, shh. Oopsie. Oops. Um, just hold that thought. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Yeah. Let's grab it. Cool. See you on the deck. What I really like is, usually with these text-based things, I'm not a big fan if they don't uh, design the, the dialogue box nicely. I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy, I'm sorry. I know it's an older game, but still. They put, like, attention into the, the, the UI element that is a dialogue box, and I, I appreciate that. Ah, I just dropped down again. Cool. You can stop showing the tutorial. Or maybe, maybe don't stop. Okay. Oh my goodness. Down. Okay. On the ship. So beautiful. Everything looks like hand drawn. This must have taken a long time to make. Got my fancy bell. Very nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's nice. I like that. I'm probably gonna say that a lot. Ooh, that's nice. Over here, what is this thing? It looks like a like a stag. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Just. Whoa. Pikachu has evolved! Wow, that is a much better look. Yeah. So... Yeah, this boat's mine. I am commandeering it. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so once they jump onto my boat, they will change into these beautiful uh, animals. I'm looking at you because you look damn good. Okay. I want a hug. Oh, this is like um, like The Sims. Um, let's give a hug. It's a bit hard to. It's actually a bit hard to. Pinpoint this. Oh, you just press left and right. It's not like a wheel. Let's give a hug. Okay. I'm gonna clean up our clean up our ship. So everybody that gets on board has a mood indicator, and you will have to manage those moods, I assume, by doing quests and giving them hugs and uh, gifts. Oh no. Mm. What a mess. I don't know, I kind of like the cobwebs. <laughs> yeah, I remember that on Petunia's old yard. Totally do. <laughs> that, I like that line. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's clean up this boat. Mm -hmm. How? How will we clean this up? Albert! Okay. Okay, so good at boat fixing, bad at jokes. Let's head to Albert's shipyard. Yes, how do I make it move? Okay. Okay. How do you know all of this? 
Aha. Hmm. Very hmm. meticulously. Okay, I like that she smokes. Hmm. Okay, so unlock my cabin. Head to the map. To view active requests. Ooh, you, you have upgrades as well. <laughs> Shenanigans. Um, that's quite interesting. Cool. So I need to set sail. This everything looks about this game looks great. This this menu, everything just looks fantastic. Okay, is this the map generator? Okay. So we were in Alt Harbor. Wow, they got like a whole massive giant ass map. And we're like this little tiny island. Ooh, is this Albert? Albert the shark. Oh, so that's the gate. Yeah, the ever door. Okay, so let's set the destination. And, ooh, look at my little beautiful little hammock. Do I now just press X? No. So, what do I do now? Stella! Hi. Mm -hmm. The ship is powered by my Everlight. Okay. That is how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything myself. Mm -hmm. It is very fascinating. Um... Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it, it's a lot of, uh, it, it's a lot of information. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. She's here for me and that's all that matters. Thanks. I think I was her final request, like her closure. We can do fishing. Okay, let's explore the ship. Starting here with some fishing. I wonder if it has a, a mini fishing game. Ooh. Looks like something's on the line. Hey, I found a one herring. I wonder if I need to feed my crewmates. Let's try that one more time. I've only, well, I've been playing uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes and this game has such a calming, calming vibe. I really like it. Ooh, looks like we are getting close to our destination. Yeah, we're here. That's awesome. So you can kind of, kind of occupy yourself while, um, while the, the the traveling goes down in real time. Before I talk to you, I just wanna, I just wanna see if there's anything I can interact with. No. Okay. Let's check in. Okay, so we need to upgrade our blueprint station so you can actually add on to your ship. That's awesome. I wonder if that's where the upgrades uh, come in. <laughs> All right. I've advanced my quest, so let's get on my little, little dinghy. And set sail for land. Here we are. Albert is one fancy assed shark. Thank you. I like to imagine him like, Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. But I'm not gonna do that the whole time. <laughs> or am I? Where my prices are a customer's best friend. <laughs> He's Albert. Been, he's been in the business for ages. 
I, I mean, I want a boat like his. Look at his boat. Yeah, we are the new spirit fairs. <sighs> Thanks, Gwen. That's, um, that's hurtful. Or maybe it is his thingy. Man, that's not nice talking about the dead that way. Poor Sharon. <laughs> oh, right. He does the bad jokes. <laughs> Man. Okay, let's get this proper blueprint table. I'll offer it for how much? Free! Wow, that is a good deal. Um, let me think about that. Okay, so... Select them and upgrade. Wow, this is quite extensive. So I can increase my boat size, uh, add a few things to my boat that will clearly allow me to get to different uh, areas in the game, break some barriers, and then all of the things that you can craft. I can craft a garden, a field, and it just goes on. Uh, I need to co collect some resources. So a proper management game. Cool. Can't afford that, but at least I've got what I need to get going. So let's chat to this guy. Okay, so I need to go to my boat to build and edit, obviously. Ah, uh, okay, okay, so he does those kind of upgrades. Okay, I wonder how many people I can fit on my boat. Let's go back. Patient. Good. Yeah, can you believe it? <laughs> oh, I hope Albert's not a loan shark. Okay. <laughs> Oh, cool. So you can actually move things around on your boat by editing it. All right. Let's go edit the boat. Move things around. Oh, wait. That's wrong. Should not be in the map. Oh, wow. Crates. Weird black hole. More crates. Cool. So I can pick that up. But for now, let's go to the blueprint blueprint table. She's where? It's not there. Is it outside? Is it this thing? Oh, it's on top. Okay. This looks fantastic. The reflection the reflections in the water is just done so so well. Edit. Okay, so this is the area I can work with. Let's select this. And let's salvage it. We don't need any of this, do we? Um, yeah. So I get some logs, some bottles, some old shoes, and carpet. That's exactly what went into this whole, whole build. Gone. A blank slate. Can see what Gwen wants to wants to wants to tell us. Thank you. I mean, it took a lot. Awesome. I didn't know the dead sleeps. Cool. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. 
Why? Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's go craft a guest a guest house. I've got to say, I'm playing it with an Xbox controller, and all of the interactions are are done with the X button. Uh, usually it would be the A button or the X button on the PlayStation. So it's quite strange using the X button to do these kind of things. But I'll get used to that. Alright, a guest house. Where do we want this? Mm, I think let's give him a nice view of the front of the ship. Let's drop it down right there. Can I afford anything else? No. And that's it. This game is so fluid. I know. Thank you. Yes, it does. It's got. My, it's the star. It's it's the star thing on the on the door. Good. Yeah, that's why I put it on the front of the ship for the view. What? What's happening? What's happening? Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> okay. So the dead don't sleep, but they sure do eat. Mm -hmm. I feel like she's like manipulating me in some weird way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have enough resources. Oh. Yeah. I, I knew I needed the, the, the bright jelly. By fishing? What's happening? Uh, something scares her. It's bright jellies? Wow. Oh, okay. It's quite sad. Okay, so I have no choice but to grab these jellies. Exactly. Oh, I saw that. That's that little, like, that black hole. Okay. Let's go fetch this jelly. These bright jellies. By sailing to the black hole. Destination. While that's going on, I'm gonna go fish again. <laughs> it's really fun. It's, it's nothing special. But the sun's setting, it's just a perfect setting for fishing. And then at least I'll have enough fish for my. Oh, a, an old shoe. Cool. If I get another one, I've got a new pair of digs. So, I really like the addition of a day-night cycle. There's always, always something about sailing, sailing in sunset. Sea of Thieves did, did the, the ocean so well. And uh, the day-night cycle in that is also just beautiful. I mean, I just love to sail around. What is that? A herring. Another herring. Okay. We are almost at our destination. I've only now realized that we have a little indicator on top. So let's just signal that we have land ho. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's pesky jellies. Set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. Okay. You'll get glimpses. What's a glim? All good. I'll pop them all. Okay, so how does this work? What do I do? Uh, do I press... Oh, okay, cool. So I'm just pressing X. There we go, that's bright jelly. Oh, oh. that's a big one. Oh, I missed the big one. I missed out on some 
some glimpses. Oh wait, a minute I can go on top of the roof. No, hold up. I can catch it. Yes. Okay, I can't reach those. I'm gonna get as many glimpses as I can. That's a big one. I can't grab that one. Damn it. Give me some more bright jellies. like this is the place to be. Oh. Interesting little mini game. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot. Get in my belly jelly. Okay, uh, two more bright jellies. Ooh, it's a big one. Yo! Is that it? That's the end of that. Okay, nice little jelly uh, jelly mini game. Thank you. I mean, I missed a lot. It's always just so complimentary. This is like the perfect game if you've got like low self-esteem. <laughs> yeah, no hesitation. Didn't really have time to hesitate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> She's like super passive aggressive with these like snide remarks, slowly digesting myself. Oh, wait a minute. It's not in here, it's on top. I like how nicely integrated these things are. They don't stand out so much. You have to really go find them. That's not the hardest thing, but it just fits into the aesthetics, which is great. Okay, a kitchen. Let's... If, oh, that's so cool. So it actually changes. I actually want to do this. That looks perfect. Should I just put it here? Nah, that doesn't look good. I mean, we're going to lose the nice loft. The loft window over there, but... It's okay. Yeah, let's just pop them right there. So the kitchen's close to the guest house, so they can just pop in and make themselves a nice herring or old shoe sandwich. Now I can use the kitchen. Okay. So I put something in the oven and it'll be cooked. Why would she have loose corn kernels in her pockets? Okay. Oh, we haven't even checked out the guest house inside yet. I will do that after I've popped in. Uh, let's see if I have any recipes. Nope. So you probably got to discover. It's like um, the Legend of Zelda. Um, what's it? The new, the last one? Breath of the Wild. There we go. I always forget it when I'm on the spot. Okay, so let's let's cook some popcorn. Oh no. Let's. Yeah, let's try it. Let's 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 cook some uh, cook some popcorn. Actually, don't want to do everything, but what's done is done. Cook. And while that's happening, we can go check out the guest house. Beautiful, nice picture of me and old Daffodil, and a, another perfect couch. Nice little bonsai tree over there. I believe I heard the oven. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I thought I, it was burning. Popcorn. Okay, let's cook some fish. Let's cook some fish. Just one. I'm a bit bummed that I cooked all of the corn. Now I could have made a nice fish bread. How long is that gonna take? Let's, um, let's not wait it out. That's not a good use of our time. Let's go chat to her. Another thing she's forgotten about. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So that's like a skip the night, skip the night feature going to sleep. You know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. I'm gonna have to wake her up. Oh, cool. So the bell actually has a function other than alerting uh, people about the, the, the incoming land mass. Okay. Okay, cool. So don't bug them when it's when it's night time. Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. I, I really like all the different um, mechanics that they've they've cooked into this thing. Speaking of cooked, look at that grilled fish. Mm -hmm. uh, has she gone to bed now? I thought she was hungry. That's terrifying. Is this how she sleeps? Okay. Let's do some stargazing and then we hit the hay. Hmm. Okay. Bedtime. Oops. Where'd I go? If you haven't watched The Life Aquatic, Wes Anderson's movie, watch it. Because it basically has this cutaway of the ship, which just totally reminds me of this. I can highly recommend the movie as well. Press left bumper to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Okay, so you can hide the UI for some nice screenshots. Okay, let's ring the bell. Wake up, wake up, wake up. There she goes. Jeez, okay, let's uh, give you some food. Not, not, not a hug. Okay, here's some, here's some fish. Thank you. At the same time, she's so complimentary, but she's also so passive aggressive. Was it just me? Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. Okay. Okay, so they've got different likes and dislikes. Comfort food. Popcorn. Okay. Okay, so comfort food, loves coffee, don't feed it the same thing in a row. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. She keeps forgetting important things. But an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. Okay. Something tells me you already knew that. No, no, I did not. Okay. Yeah, let's fix up this boat ship. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there's both a field and a garden blueprint. Mm. Cool. Grow is even a gardening game in this? Cool. Let's add a field. Okay. Cool. I can I can grow blankets. Okay, cool. She needs me to visit an island. It's called Moss Stein Gro Cove. Okay, she's gonna tell, tell me what it is, but we need to go there. So let's head there and then we can finish this up because we are reaching that time of the video. The end. All right, let's see if I have enough to build a field. If not, we can set sail. So I do not have enough. That's okay. So we will set sail for that island she mentioned. It's this one up here. Cool. Here we go. While that's happening, let's catch some fish. <laughs> 
I can see I'll start role playing this, building up a routine, waking up, ringing the bell, checking in on my guests, catching some fish, cooking something, and then getting to my destination. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a it's a nice gameplay loop. And now I need a hug. Well, you see, see. No, 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 wait, come back, come back. Let's give you a hug. Not sure she likes that. Ah, oh, there you go. She likes it. You're welcome. Now she's in a good mood. Let's chat. He's a shark. Oh, so he doesn't have good prices. <laughs> I like that the game is uh, self-aware, admitting to the cliches. Stella, why are you calling me? It's very sweet. I think we've arrived. <laughs> Her father yelled at the cat. Oh no, not the Delano vase. That's awesome. I really like the, the writing in this. It pulls you forward. Because I don't know much. But um, I do like hearing these little anecdotes. Okay, let's jump onto that island. Is Gwen coming with? Looks like that's a no. And a nice little little evergreen island. What's this? What is this? Hey! Glim bottles and empty bottles. That's uh, nice. <laughs> that is a majestic tree. Oh. Uh, that I'm gonna cut down. Okay, that's good to know. Interesting fact about the Everlight, I mean, it can change the different tools, I assume. Here we go. <laughs> that animation is so cool. Oh, I actually have to do this. Look at the, look at the kitty cat. Timber! Thank you. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. I like how bummed, how bummed I look. Um, I'm gonna cut down all these trees. Let's go. Collect some berries. Some raspberries. Another one. This this game must have taken a lot of work. I wonder how big the, the studio is, how many people work for them. Sorry, tree. Well, a light platforming. Can I go up here? No. Oh, I actually have to press to hit this. Oh! Super ultra charge. Oops. I think I just broke my Everlight. Okay, so you have to time it. Boom, there you go. The timing has to be perfect. Can I go in the water? What happens if I go in the water? I can swim. Even that looks good. Look at the, look at the cat. Cats don't like water, so he's on his little bowl. Okay, so there's nothing that way, it seems. Did we collect everything we needed? Ha. Ha. 
Chopped down two trees, broke a rock. What's down here? Anything down here? Nothing to collect. Right. So. Let's check in with her. Can't. I can't talk to her. Okay. Back to the ship. I'm not sure if I completed my objective there, but we are running out of time. So, I'm going to end this video right there. I gotta say that I am totally in love with this game. I love how it looks. I love how it controls. Um, I like how they introduce all the different little game mechanics. I like the writing, I like the characters, and I'm super curious to see what the deal is with me, Stella, and her her crew. This game is available on basically every platform you can think of. It is available on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Google Stadia, can you believe it? They actually make games for that thing. Um, PC, Linux, Mac, uh, everything. I think this game would be fantastic for the Nintendo Switch. This is a perfect game to take on a nice long weekend, chill outside, squint at your screen. But yeah, so this definitely gets my thumbs up based on the first 45 minutes. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.